Hey guys, Mr. B here again, uh, bringing you a uh, implicit differentiation version leading up to your test here uh, this week. Um, so this one's a slightly harder example than the last example I gave last week. Uh, it's got something inside the sine function, so in our case it has x, y. So when you have something inside, you know, sine, cos, whatever the trick function is, you have to think about how do I have to take the, uh, uh, the derivative of that. So what I usually do, if it's something complicated, now x, y isn't that complicated, but I will for this example take it outside and... Uh, differentiate that on its own. So before I even start thinking about what's the derivative of, of you know what we're given, I'm going to find what the derivative of what's inside the sine function. So I'm going to go over to the side here and take the derivative of um, x y. So this one pops up a lot. So it might be you know it might be even helpful if you just uh, if you once you do it a couple times, you, you kind of think about uh, how you can do this quickly in your head. But, you know, x times y is simply just the product rule. So we're going to, um, you know, we're going to multiply x times the derivative of y. And, of course, the derivative of y is just uh, y prime. And then we're going to, uh, you know, multiply y times the derivative of x. Of course, the derivative of x is just 1 because our derivative is with respect to x. So we're left with just 1. I won't even write it in there. So this guy right here is a derivative of what's inside the sine function. So now what we can do is we can apply that to this derivative. So I'll start this one just like I do all the other ones. So d over dx uh, sine of xy is equal to, I'm running out of space here, d over dx. Uh, let me see if I can write that a bit smaller. d over dx of x. So then what I'm going to do, of course we know what the derivative of sine is, it's cos. So derivative of sine is cos. And then what we'll do is we'll put that x, y inside. But then of course we know we have to multiply that using the chain rule uh, by the derivative of x, y. So all we do is we multiply it by um, x, y prime plus y. And then we take the derivative of x, which of course is just 1. So now what we do is, like I said before, we want to get this in terms of y prime. So the easiest thing for us to do first here might be just to get rid of that cos xy. So let's divide both sides by cos xy. There we go. And of course that's gone. And then what we can do is... Since this is gone right here, all we have left that has doesn't have y prime next to it is that y. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to subtract y from both sides. So I'm going to have um, x y prime is equal to one over cos x y minus y. So now what I have to do is I have to get rid of this. Um, x in front of the y prime. So in order to do that, what I need to do is divide everything by x. So I'll divide it by x. So right there, that's gone. And then, you know, I'm dividing this guy by x. So really all I'm doing is I'm going to throw an x in front there like that. And then I'll divide this guy by x as well. So that's what I'm left with. y prime, and I'm kind of short on space here. y prime is equal to 1 over x cos x y should put some brackets around that guy minus y over x so that is the implicit uh, derivative of sine x y is equal to x so i hope that was helpful and i'll see you guys in class